Chuck Norris, and I approve this game. And welcome to Jump in the Turnstile. I'm Jez Bot. I'm Timmy Take. I do apologise for the week off. Oh, we're starting with an apology. We had a spa- <laughs> sabbatical. Yeah. Mm. Why is that? Well, why, why couldn't we do the thing that we enjoy doing? Mm, well, it's the constant lockdown, Tim. Mm. Um, it's a bit faux pas to make a lockdown song now, isn't it? Oh, rem- yeah. I don't know if you remember the, the bushfires. Remember that? The big bushfires? Yeah, vaguely, yeah. Yeah. So everyone was making making songs, you know, like Save the Koala. Save the Koalas. Um lots of those lots of those songs. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure none of them ever made money. Just like regular songs. No, they don't. But uh, there's an influx of um lockdown freedom songs. freedom lockdown songs. Um, That's what I was saying with the Aussie hip hop. I mean, we're gonna have miles and miles of that. Miles, yeah, because because it was all about barbecues. No, no more now barbecues. No more barbecues. <laughs> <laughs> so Aussie hip hop, skip a, hop, if yeah. you will. Points with me, with me lads in the pub upstairs, and I can't even go here with the QR code. <laughs> <sighs> this is why I gave up rapping. I couldn't even come up with the next line. No, code, load, load, load. Yeah, and every time I do it, it feels like I'm taking a load <laughs> off me shoulders. Off me shoulders. <laughs> that is not the other load. <laughs> <laughs> Which load's that? The other load. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been mostly doing with your time? Cause, Nothing, uh, thanks I've, for asking. No, and also with you. I've uh, been mostly uh, sitting on the couch. Yeah, right. How's that going? Oh, it's uh, so good. Do you remember The Simpsons? Yeah, I've yeah, seen remember, The Simpsons Remember a few Homer times. forged that um, divot in his couch? Yes. <laughs> you know, wearing the couch in. I'm having couch issues. Mm, so am I. Right? Yeah. And we've, we've hit the critical mass because think- we're on it. We're in bed for... Three quarters of our life. Yes. Isn't it something like that? Yeah, eight, eight, eight. Yeah. And Sleep then, eight, wake eight. Wake eight. So now we're on the couch, the other eight, right? Yes. But we did the whole, um, we did, look, we're trying to do the online shopping thing, right? Yeah. You know how successful that is. You know? Well, you, you never get the best deals when you go online. No, we did get the best deal, but it was a bum deal. Remember we went down before all the COVIDs? And picked up from Naza Waza mm. the couch. Were you were you on that little? Uh, yes. Yeah, and uh, it looked good in the picture. It looked good on the trailer. Yeah, it did. Um, it's one of those showroom couches where it's it, it always looks good. So if you had it in a showroom, it'll look good forever. Right. But far too firm. Like I'm talking, too if firm. you if too you firm. if you're in the fetal position, which I often am. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just to, just to be comfortable, rocking back and forth, rocking back and forth on the couch. Yeah, uh, if you if you go on your side, oh, it actually it's so firm, mm. it cuts the vein in your hippo, and you're starting to get now you're getting pins and needles. No, you wake up with with no legs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't feel my legs. Yeah, can't, whoa. Um, yeah, so right. we want to upgrade, update, mm. um, re redo because it's, it's far too. You're firm. Having a redo. Again, yeah, we on can't the couch. get to the bloody couch shops. To sit your ass on it. So the the, mm. the problem was is because because it looked good, the description was good. It's from a smoke free house. Yeah. Um. You know, we picked it up. It looked brand new. It was good. It's too firm. Too firm. Gotcha. Now so what do you the, do? the follies of the um the internet. So you know? yeah, I mean, you've got to pass it off to the next sucker. Surely, this is yeah. showroom perfect. So I, well, it's it's got it's it's held its resale value. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Staying here a mark there, but uh, so you're gonna sort of upgrade or downgrade to <laughs> upgrade, yeah. milk crates and a piece of piece no, of foam I, I, I'm I'm I, I don't do the whole just got to get rid of it, and then you go oh shit we don't have a couch, couch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not doing that. Why don't you become a beanbag family? No, now this is the thing, right? I have always got this. There's there's these two things that I hate mm. in this house. Okay, one of them was Audrey. <laughs> One of them was the exercise ball. I hate it. Yeah. Ness wanted to have an exercise ball yep. years and, and years ago. Yeah. And I was always against it. Oh, you can sit on the community with it. You can hop up and down. You can sit like back and you can roll it around the house for fucking eight years is what you can do with it. That's mm. about all you can do with yeah. it. So I I deflated it and chucked it in the roof because I just <laughs> I just I just, I, I just don't want to be and it was like six it. months finished. Well, where's that ball gone? Yeah. Yeah. It's just rolling around, floating around, bouncing around. I don't fucking want it. Well, Big fluoro sports ball. Yeah, and speaking of bloody exercise equipment, I've got this 
you know, first Pando's hit and uh, they closed all the bloody gyms and Cass was going to gym junking. Yeah. And uh, so I had to go down and pick up the old uh, exercise bike off the in-laws. Okay. And it's like an old school one. It's still, still good. It's like probably 90s, mid-90s. Yeah. But um, you just don't use it. No, no. So it's just... It's sad. It's, it's sad. It is good for uh, hanging uh, shirts off. Yeah. To dry. Yeah. It's, pretty that's much. A good it's a pretty much glorified clothes horse. So the first lockdown, the locking uh, begins. Uh, <laughs> we used it a couple of times, and then it, it made its way out into the back deck. Yeah. And now it's edging its way off into the shed, so okay. I can eventually <laughs> put it on my car and take it back. <laughs> I get ya. I get ya. Oh, um, well, but the other thing, she uh, Vanessa went to a. Um, one of those uh, big conventions, you know, where homewares and all that kind of stuff. And because she has her, her place of work had a stall there. So she got to peruse mm. and right when they're, you know, they do a the little bit of a stock take. They don't want to pack up the stuff. They're like, does anybody want this tea? Yeah, sure. So she did a little, she did a bit of willing and dealing. Mm. And, um, without my permission, because she bought back mm-hmm. into the house, the second thing I don't like, ah. and that's a beanbag. Ah, yes. But this was like, the biggest of bean bags. Mm. So we're talking, it took maybe two or three of those bean things to fill up. Oh, so it's a bean couch. No, yeah. It's in between. It's in between those two. Mm. So, and then that floated around the house and rolled around the house and this and Dusted that. No one up. ever fucking sat on it. Apart from the cat. Uh, the cat wouldn't sit on it. Mm. No, not interested. Not interested. So if you get in the bean bag, it's how am I going to get out of the bean bag? <laughs> Yeah, when are you getting in bean bags? Well, Cass is always banging on about let's get another bean bag. Now we've already gone through thrice, I think, sets okay. of bean bags. Yeah, first one, you know, got a bit tattered. Then yeah. we got then we got a second dog. Yeah, and it starts to become a uh, dog dog pad dog, dog toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Just shedding and <laughs> shitting and pissing. And yeah. Barf, 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 barf. <laughs> but I, Why I is he always barfing? <laughs> I just think, well, and inevitably I throw them out. Yeah. The dogs um, or the... Uh, either way. Bags, either yeah. way. Inevitably. I just think what they should do is take the bean bag off the floor. So it should have a wood base, a circular wood base. Mm-hmm. That uh, So you're already up a bit higher. Oh, so you're yeah, not sitting on the fucking ground. Yeah, you can get in, but it's just tough getting out. Yeah. You've got to do the roll sideways. Mm, mm. <clears throat> the scooch out. And scooch I find and with my bad back, mm. you, you're leaning in a weird position in the beanbag. Yeah, bag. I don't think beanbags are the go. No. Although the bean, you will need a beanbag for our latest project. Oh, what's that? The uh, the headphones and the beanbag mix that we're doing. A oh, soundscape. Yes. Yeah. 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 Fucking around with that. And uh, what that is basically is a cinematic soundscapes. What you you were insisting no boot, no and beats. so I was like, "Here, yeah, no, it's got to drop here." And you're like, "Nope." What make- we need <laughs> is a helicopter. Slow the helicopter down. Now get some wind chimes in there. Yes, and I want some people whispering in the distance. That's right. Further back, <laughs> further back. Less people. That's it. Not another stroke. Maybe one more. That's it. We've seen The Simpsons. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, It's basically no beats. Uh, every time we get in the studio. And we go, let's make a beat. Or let's make a track. Yeah. It's always so beat heavy. Mm. You know, mm. drums, bass, drums, Synth. bass. Yeah. I just think, why can't we make, create something without the beat? Let the beat be in your head. Yeah. And then, so, so specifically designed for beanbag listening. Yeah. So, like in the 70s, you'd see the kids, you know, they get their latest album, they get a lava lamp. Their massive headphones, <laughs> lava lamp, uh, record plate. Yeah. <laughs> Put the record needle on there. Uh, and then, um, and then mellow out to some tunes like what you can hear on the right now. It's, oh, yeah, it's, it's nice. like we're in, like picked yourself on the beanbag now. Yeah, right. Is this the part with the helicopter and the wind chimes? <laughs> Keep me with the helicopter and wind chimes. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, but that's that's you know that's a project we'll get well, that, to. No, but that's what I'm saying. That that I feel like that's the only purpose for a beanbag. Yes, I agree. I don't, I don't like the so. Up in the roof with that one. Yeah, get rid of the boom bag. Put it, put it with the bloody sports oh, ball. We're going to have to get a new couch as well because mm. ours, uh, we got we got leather. Yeah, see, and it lasted quite a while. Like over over, oh geez, it's eleven years now. We've had these bloody couches. Okay. And this is when they. This is when the couch is supposed to be hitting their stride, isn't it? Well, it's just the the arm pads now have lost all the padding, and so it's starting to 
de- ah, right. depressed and you're getting that deplete. Homer divot. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we'll uh, trade them in. Seen the Simpsons? <laughs> I've seen the Simpsons. <laughs> okay. So that's couch talk. Couch talk, yeah. Because mm. I, I, I want to so upgrade. We're on the couch. We're on the couch the whole time. So. Well, that's it. That's it. And uh, we want to go. We want to go depth, soft. Mm. And we're thinking of the old, um, the joined chase. So, so yeah. someone gets to lay down. But here's the thing, right? We're on the couch. Mm. We're all chilling out. Mm. And, and me, I don't know. I'm old school. I like to scooch up on the couch with a doona. Yep. Get nice and cozy. Fall, fall asleep. asleep. Right? Straight away. Yep. With the noise going. Yeah. And it's like it's like you get to sneak asleep. Yeah. And right? they go, they're going, you go to bed, dude. But I've had to come to the whole sleep with one eye open um, dearly. Not Metallica. Right. Um, because any time I go, <laughs> Vanessa will go, oh, let's go to bed. <laughs> oh, let's go to bed. Man, you're falling asleep. It's yeah, like, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to. to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. It's 8.30. She is, uh, she's a sleep Nazi. But she's a bed, bed sleeper. She's a bed sleeper. Mm. Yeah. She'll have, she'll have her naps. Here's the thing. I'll never, like if she's on the couch, I'll go, honey, right, sweetie, mm-hmm. why don't you, why don't you, why don't you fucking go to bed? <laughs> why don't you fuck off to bed? Um, but, and so her argument is that I tell her to go to bed all the time. Yeah. But like I'm not going. Are you asleep? <laughs> <laughs> and what I've found is that, um, like, you know, when you get up in the middle of the night and you you got to do your necessaries, yeah. And sometimes you just you keep your eyes closed, like you're still in bed. Have yeah, you ever you done that? Yeah, you don't want to get the light piercing your eyes. So if you yawn or open your eyes, that counts. That tells your body up time. Yeah, it right? does. So you got to get in there, get get. To the toilet and back in the same sleep, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, and you've got to be remembering what you're dreaming of so you can slip so you seamlessly can, yeah. back into the dream. And what I find is if I get woken up on the couch after a little snoozer mm. and I've got to make it from the couch, turn off all the bloody lights because I fell asleep with the lights on yeah. or something like that, um, shut the computer down, mm. go to the toilet, go, go right. back to bed. You're awake. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> the other wakey. night, Well, the other night I was having a great old snooze yeah. on the old couch. I was I was deep in the deep in the um mm. you know dream state in the slumber, and then all right let's go to bed let's go to bed so I went to bed and then I lay there for fucking three hours. Now you say you're not a daytime napper, like uh. Well, I haven't been in the past because I've been working. Yeah, because I, I called you yesterday. I said, so what are you going to do today, Bosh? And you said, look, oh, we do a Zoom podcast like we're doing right now. Yeah. And I said, nah, fuck it, I can't be bothered. No, said, well, you'd already got up to do your nest, tinker, yeah. tinkering around the house, which I want to find out about. Yeah, well, I I'll want to say, you, I want yeah. a birdhouse update. Yeah, well, I'll give you a birdhouse um, update. So, and then you said, well, I guess I'll just fucking go back to bed. I'll well, just go back to bed then. That was me trying to fucking make you feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that you were the only thing I had to do for that day. And yeah. then when you said no. There's plenty to do, but who could be motivated? <laughs> Well, you know what I found is I've gone out into the bloody yard and I can't find me the charger to me um, drill battery. Oh, no. And the Makutas, of which I have two, those batteries are expired. So mm. I've got to try and get a refurb because they don't make those Makita batteries anymore. No, but you can get off-brand. That's what I did. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to look into that. We'll, we'll talk about talk that. Talk about that later, yeah. Um, and uh, so I've gone out to get me tinkering. I've gone through all my boxes. I've found my drill, found this, found that, fucking found everything. Get to the project. Oh, yeah. Get a big charge on. Then I spend the next three days looking for the fucking power pack. Where is it? It's gone. It's fucking gone. Damn so, it. so like, I go, all right, pack new, it all up. New, pack it up, boys. New set of drills. Go <laughs> inside. Maybe I can finish a level on um, Tony Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> for two hours. Yeah. Have a little snake. Success. Have a snoozer. But, um, yeah, look, I mean, we've got to stay active now that it's springtime and sprung. Mm. Uh, yeah, you know. well, so spring, so you'd expect your birdhouse to be in full effect. This is what I want to know. Wow, this so, is the bird, birdhouse update. Do mm. uh, you want to put a little tune in there? Or oh, yeah. A little kookaburra or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> 
dealer's choice, Tim. You can put in whatever sound effect <laughs> Thanks, you want. Over that. That. It's already done. Yeah, so this morning I'm just going up and down my side. I'm getting ready for the uh, asbestos eave linings to get token out yeah. and a respray. Finally getting a respray in my roof. Yeah. New gutters, new fascias, new dam pipes. Wow. So I'm clearing out. All the uh, all the areas so the oh, workers scaffs can, and yeah, what, so with space. They, yeah, so if they need to get down the sideway, they can actually do it. It's yeah. been a mission, I will tell you what. Yeah, I'm sure it is. They've got all my ladders set up on the on the fence there, okay. and so it's all neat and tidy. Yeah, and I bloody spy over there. I see a nest in mm. one of my ladders. It's up against in the, a ladder in, on the ladder. He's the birdo. She has made this perfect nest. Mm. Um, using a lot of my garden supplies, I've got to tell you. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's encouraging. Yeah, and um, I have a squidgery do. Sean enough, little bird, blue bird egg. Right. So I went to all the trouble of making those beautiful birdhouses. We've all seen them. Mm-hmm. Uh, stuck them up in the trees. Nah, they don't want it. They don't want no it. No bar of it. Nah, they want on top of uh, your heating system. They want in your eaves. Yeah. They want, um, they want to on, it. on your ladder. Well, well, this is the whole thing. I'm wondering whether... They've come close to the box and gone, fuck this. Yeah, it smells like Ooh, a trap. It smells like fingers in here. <laughs> yes. Because I, I know that if you if you were to move that nest now. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. So if you touch that egg, it, straight away, it's almost like I can see the fingerprint. Now, this takes me back to another fucking story about yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Audrey's gone for a little walkie walk. <laughs> and while she's on her walk, um, she hears a little... Right, desperate mm. little uh, baby bird, mm. right Caught in the, in the bushes. Yeah, right. She looked up. She can see the nest, but it's a, it's sitting there in the little corner of the, the the tree trunk. Yes, hiding, trying to build up his energy. He's out. She's she's seen it and gone into into um, vet mode. Yeah, uh, she's full vet and gone. Oh, it's the, the baby. It's been. It's falling out. It's falling out. No, no, no. It's it's. it's so she called me straight away. She's mm. like, "Well, we're, I'm walking back to Harry's place." To put it in the bird cage because he's got like a semi farm oh, thing going on. No. Four cats, two dogs, oh, five chickens. The, the birds, two dead. goats, four bir- four four birds, bloody fish, fish, everything. Um, takes it around there, and then while she's on the phone, all I can hear in the background is the whole time. I said, "Yeah." She goes, "Well, because we we'd spent the night. It was our wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations! So we sat down and watched the wedding." vid with the kids right and uh for the first time in 17 years never seen it before it's like pulling teeth yeah so then once once we finished that we, we chucked in an old video of audrey's baby her mm. growing up so she got to see like she got to see it from the mother and the father's perspective yeah. like the four hours of just filming the baby because that's fascinating <laughs> to the to the parents so she got a glimpse and she's like wow the house is really quiet i was like yeah that's like two years of that. Yeah, this is the these are the good bits that we filmed. These are the down bits. The rest is all crying and shitting and fucking <laughs> whinging. Anyway, so she she so when she saw the bird, she had this whole mothering, yeah. fathering vibe in yeah. her mo- in the back of her mind. So she couldn't leave the baby crying. Right, the instincts kicked in. Yeah, right. She took the baby. Mm. It's, 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 Anyway, brought it back and called me up and said, what's, what's going to happen? And I said, oh, well, here's, here's the scoop. And I was in grade four, Mr. Wahlberg's class. Mm. I did the same thing. I saved the little birdo, mm. put it in a box. It was chirping, chirping, chirping. And then it fucking dropped dead. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I said, so it's pretty much as good as dead. Yep. So you've taken it to its final resting place. Mm. Uh, it's not much you can do. Like, you can't really, like... Wormos and into its mouth, right? <laughs> like birds do. What's a chucking in nature? Yeah. <laughs> flies, you know, they rub the little yeah, hands together. Regurgitate <laughs> it. Oh, flies do, yeah. Yeah. F- flies are spewing everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, all over their hands, rubbing it in. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. Anyway, she, had, she left there, left the bird there, mm. and then within four hours. Yeah. Uh, she got a call from her mate saying, oh, I'm like, oh, this is it. Bird's fucked. Yeah. And he's like, no, I just hopped out of the cage and flew off. Yeah. Because <laughs> cause what, <laughs> what happens in nature um, 
first they fall, then they recover from the fall. Yeah, that's and fly off. It's their first like outing. They the mother does it. They they you're never supposed to pick a bird up off the ground. It's, nah. it's, it's it's a part of it's. Yeah, I said so. Once you touch that bird, um, rejected. It's rejected. So what what I was wondering back to the birdhouse. Mm. Do you think they're automatically rejecting the birdhouse based on the fact that you've you've Touched had your touch? Yeah, you've had your little. <clears throat> yeah, it might take it might take a season for me stank to wash off it, mm. but also it's got to be the right size bird for the right size hole. Yeah, yeah. or the right size hole for the right kind of bird. Yeah, yeah, I'm, something like I'm with you. Something like that. Yeah, a big enough worm for the right so- size <laughs> hole, hole for, for the, the right bird of the bird. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> but there you go. So it's uh, spring has sprung. Nature is amazing. Um, um, nature will prevail. Yeah, and just let them do what they're going to do. Yeah, leave them on the ground. Mm. Um, I think. I think the thing is, is that yes, that does that is the rule of nature, right? It's in, it's on the it's on the it's on the ground. It's, mm. it's got to do it. First of all, I said, what kind of bird was it? Yeah. She goes, oh, we looked it up. It's a minor. It's a minor. Yeah. I said, right. It's your obliga- obligation to nature and the Australian natural uh, flora and fauna. Flora and fauna to uh, neck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, where was I going with that? I don't know. Nature, Audrey <laughs> sitting around. Well, because it's fallen on the ground. Yeah. It's right next to the road. Yeah. You know, nature. Nature knows no suburbia. Road rules. Look, if you if you that, find that, me. that type of bird's doing just fine. I know um, yeah, they're survivors. Yeah, and, and that survivors. it's always the one that's on the ground. It's a minor, isn't bird. it? It's always the one that's on the ground <laughs> that cops at the worst. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Just just leave leave everything alone. Yeah, no touchies. Pro- provide uh, ample uh, habitat. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, plants yeah. and plants. But yeah. Jews, leave the bloody bastards alone. What don't touch cool? them. No touchies. No touchies. No touchies. Free as a bird. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, keep it like that. Yeah. Don't cage them. No, you can't cage me. Um. <laughs> I did see uh, on YouTube, been watching, um, you know, you watch those little clips of dog gets rescued and, and, yeah. the, and the before and afters. And Crocodile I did, helps dog kill yeah. bison. Uh, dog and magpie have a, a unbelievable friendship. Did you see that oh, one yeah, last yeah, one? Yeah. That was weird. They're yeah. best, best buddies. Yeah. Well, well I know, I realise we've cycled around. I'm now getting talking bird videos again yeah <laughs> C- continue well this little bird had uh no feathers it's got one of those diseases and so she she you know rescued it you got to feed it every 20 minutes but Ugh. this guy just hops around now no feathers like just oh. just skin okay um seems seems to be really no it thinks it's a human okay you get that with the, well it's do skin get that with he, looks, he has a good hard look at himself yeah and he's like well skin skin yeah and then there was this Could one I get a shirt <laughs> there was this one with the sparrow <laughs> And his little beak was all messed up, so he could, uh, so it like pointed upwards instead of oh downwards. Yes. So he was going to be fucked in yes. nature. Take them on board, yep. but uh, he he like nests in this woman's head. So he, he talks to her. That's more about her, her than, than the bird, though. But it's it's forever. Like I don't think you can just go out now and leave your bird for the weekend. And nah. So we have faced the same issue. We've got a bloody kid. But she didn't know this. You've got two We've got kids. A pet kid. lizard. Oh, but she didn't know that. Where? Have had since Christmas last year when oh. it got palmed off to us. Jeez. We got, this is what we got for Christmas. Um, somebody else's lizard <laughs> and a beanbag. <laughs> Why don't you let the lizard go? Uh, well, we kind of are letting it go in a way. Just in the jar? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not in a jar. It's a proper aquarium, man. Right. Have you seen oh, it? Oh, is that where all the cricket noises are all the time? That's where they were. So we were having to feed this thing live crickets. And then there was a there was a while there. I don't know if it's a seasonal thing, but we'd chuck crickets in there and then it just he just wasn't eating them. He wasn't interested. No, didn't want the hunt. Doesn't want to do anything. Yeah. It's like right. when you it's like when you lock someone in doors for eighteen months. It's like um yeah, yeah, they kind of get depressed and they don't want to do their don't na- natural hunt. things. Yeah, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, so he's but I, I want to let him go. Yeah, but am I? Am I? Who remembers is, is the bird situation well, all, all over again? Wasn't the lizard a roof lizard? It was like someone? Nah, found it's, wait, it. it's a gecko. So it's, it's so purchased so, from a shop. Nah, nah. So um, so remember m- my, how to live. My, yeah, I think so. I think so. My my niece was had, had a um, art studio. There's a can of coke on the floor. Yeah, she's picked it up to clean up. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Looks like little. 
little lizard has gone in there for a little slurp of dirt. Mm-hmm. You know, get some get some sugar oil, find a hole, and he couldn't get out of bloody. Couldn't get over the yeah, sharp you, razor lid. Well, he went in, drank the coke, got fat, couldn't get back out. No, nah, he went in there and he was he was withering away to nothing. Like they say that they're at the end of their line when their tail deflates. Mm. Right? So it was at that stage he was destitute. He'd been there for fucking eons. So she nursed him back to health. Yeah. And then kept him for two years. Yeah. And then and then she had to move out of the house. So, so she couldn't take it with her. So, so on on release date, he goes, oh, thanks for saving me. And, and then, then and then putting me in hospital and, you know, nature, nurturing yeah, me back Yeah, and then we move the goalposts. We keep moving it to, oh, yeah. just, just another uh, two years. We just had to flatten out the curve. His, his transition from that area to this area. Mm. Right? Flatten, flatten out the curve. Flatten out the curve. If you will. So now he's doing another, another, hard, year. another two years in your... Yeah, another, another hard time. I, I want to let him this, go. I want to see this lizard gone. Okay. I want to, I'm back on the rocks. It's nice and sunny out there. It is. Well, this is the time. I just didn't want to release him and, and then have him freeze to death. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. Because he's got to, we've got to give him a fighting chance. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what makes you so sure your lizard's a man? Right, yeah. Get, get to give it. <laughs> <laughs> Lizard gender. That's mm. on the lips of everybody's. Oh, yeah. Everyone's talking about it. Oh, hot, yeah. hot topic at the moment. Hot Tim. topic. Hot topic. Uh, I did a uh, DJ stream on the weekend. Yeah, that first, was good. First gig on my own in a year. Yeah. And uh, you were... Rusty. You had a bit of uh, cold feet going in, didn't you? you yeah, were... fucking... It's because this is all fucked. <laughs> right, gotcha. How are we... Like, I, I survive on... You go you go gig to gig when you're a muso. Mm. And so when it's been a year and a half since you've played on your own, and you can't even fucking remember what mm. you did, let alone if your gear worked, yeah, basically. Right. So you're faced with technical issues all over the place. Streaming, it adds a whole other yeah. fucking dimension to it. That's why we don't film this piece of shit. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> it's all the edit. Uh, I don't want people to see me. No, not really. Although our anymore. faces are on the... There's a mugshot of it. Yeah. Okay. We could change that as well. Well, I think we're going to I think we're gonna have to do a bloody Update. full refit. Well, every hundred episodes... We do change a poster. To change a poster, maybe change the name of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we are fast approaching the three uh, hundredth episode. Yeah, it is going to be a clip show. Let's 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 just, be honest. Let's be straight honest. up. Yeah. Uh, with a bit of bit of new stuff. Yeah, new stuff. Well, Some old stuff. We'll, we'll be talking on it. Best ofs. Mm. But new ads. New ads seems to be the way to go. Um, Which the, one? A best of. You reckon? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, we 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 we've been tying around with the idea of doing it live for far too long, and now it's just impossible. Yeah. So, yeah, do we really want to do that? Do you want to do a live episode with three people? Um, all, all, all outrageous! From your, all from your household. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Break some bloody rules, why don't we? No, don't. Uh, but we are fast approaching the three hundred episode. It's going to be good. It's going to be a cocker. Uh, mm. What? What is? What now? Now, in the line of like, as soon as you reach a goal, you move the goalpost. So yeah. where's where's our next? Where's our next golden mile? Uh, episode four hundred. Well, would you? No, I would have said nah, five. 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 Yeah, we won't even mention that four hundred happens. We we'll okay. just skip over that, and we'll go straight to five hundred. This is a future prediction. <laughs> yeah, well, it's two years away. <laughs> Unless yeah. we do two episodes a week. Yeah, well, I mean, if you want to come up with ideas nope. for content, yeah, yeah, there is that, isn't there? Yeah, because our lives are only filled with sitting on couches, staring at birdhouses, birds. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a lot to say at the moment. Yeah, and I'm, I am on that loop. I've, I've, we've been in for so long, and I've gone back. Through my YouTube cycle back to the prospecting. Oh videos. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've done a full circle because mm. I've because I've rinsed everything else and uh, like regular everyday television, it becomes very formulaic. Mm. You know what I mean? Even your YouTube videos. Even the YouTube videos. There is a pattern. I see. I see the patterns <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> um, but uh, like I know, I know that if I see a dude on a prospecting video. First of all, he's going to talk about the lay of the land. Yeah. Right. Then he's going to go and point, point so we know where we're looking. I've been down here, been down here. I've got a signal here. Here's what the signal sounds like. Blah, 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 blah. I dig, 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 dig. <laughs> like scan, 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 scan. We read all that. And then 
a tiny little speck. A uh, speckle. There you go, Vax. Yeah. Oh, it's it. It's golden in there. And it was only fucking five grand for the uh, filming equipment. The one thing, though, you watch a, a bunch of American uh, prospectors, mm. right? And then you chuck on an Aussie one, and you really, really, really hear the accent. Like, the proper Aussie. The drawl. Yeah, yeah, like. You I went I cycled back to um <laughs> old old school uh, footage of Melbourne. I was watching how it oh, used to be. Yeah. And uh this American um reporter goes into this Sydney pub back in the sixties. Okay. And it is we looked different back then. I think so. They they were Harder, rugged, rugged jawlines with big ass like alcoholic noses, and mm-hmm. and they were the, the question was so so what's the best way to get into a fight in an RC pub? Talk to me. <laughs> yes, that was one of them. <laughs> ask it questions. Oh, geez. but it's like that. I think it's you ask it like about footy or something. I can't even bloody talk to me. They like that. were maggoted. Yeah. These guys. Yeah. Shit face. Mag wide. And that's what it used to do. Like you, get, you knock off at around three thirds. Piss down up. the pub. Yeah. Piss up. Go mm. home. Beat your family. Yep. Ah, uh, you fall know, spend all the money, fall asleep on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Piss yourself. Wake up, explain yourself, do no, it all again. No, you, you question yourself, what happened? Yeah. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, the, I heard this siren go for the end of day's work and all of a sudden you know, I'm on the couch pissing yeah. myself. And and me personally, I've I've never had the, the blackout. No. I've never had the blackout. You drunk so much you bl- nearly blacked out. No, I've, yeah, that's never. right. Mm. It's never happened. No. So I don't know. I Usually can't. the chunder beforehand. Oh, there's a lot of chunder. In you, 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 you purge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the purging. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've got a hot tip um, oh, on YouTube. Go. YouTube recommend dash. Literally. Uh, I've been watching. You scroll down to the sci-fi uh, mm-hmm. part of it, or, or free movies, sci-fi. Yeah. It's called. Uh, it's a series called Dust. Okay. Um, and it's space. Uh, based sci-fi, yeah, yeah. and dust based, dust based, but it's the it's uh, sort of like vignettes or like um, short films, or let's just say it's a Twilight Zone. Okay, yeah, different yeah, yeah. directors, different actors. Okay, some go for eighteen minutes, some go for thirty. Okay, um, how old school is it? Brand new, brand new, brand new. Well, YouTube. it's been going on for about a year, and they've been releasing one one a week. But is it a YouTube show? Or is it's it a YouTube? A, it's a rip. It's a YouTube show. Okay. Um, high high production values, mm. really tripped out ideas. Yes, yeah, Black Mirror. Black Mirror, yeah, sort Almost. of, yeah, because they did do that. Like uh, it was a shorter one; it was only went for about ten minutes, and it was based on a Stephen King short story. Yeah, right. so you can imagine how so it ends. How did lots, it end? How did it end? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing loads and loads More. of blow. Yeah, it ended. It ended when he ran out of coke. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go get some short more. story. Yeah, we'll make this one a short one. We'll wrap it up over here. <laughs> Good old buddy. So, <laughs> I've, I've turned back to buddy Garth Marenghi again. This is my oh, dark place, yeah. Dark place. And uh, downloaded bloody Mighty Boosh. Yeah. Back onto the Mighty I've, Boosh. I did that last year as well, man. Yeah. Did the whole three seasons yep. during one of the lockdowns. And you totally reckon it's, it. it's time again. It's time again. The cycle has begun. Oh, right, yeah. I suppose yeah it's well, it's every, it's every full moon cycle, isn't it? It's something, oh, yeah, something yeah. different. <laughs> Yeah. Well, every full moon you get bloody locked down again. Well, that's exactly it. It's almost what like did we what did we did? We had the like eclipse a, that was during one. Yeah. We had the red moon. Yes. Remember when the moon? Yeah, the one in a million. Chance one in a million moon. blue yeah. moons. Yeah. Uh, we had one the other day, mm. which seemed to last for three days. We had that's that weird. Has the bloody earthquake? Oh yeah, yeah. Shocking. <laughs> 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 yeah, I did the old. I did the old pull up at the street. If I was driving, I would have missed it. No, but, I felt it. Yeah, I felt it too. And I thought that oh, I was like, oh, my bloody car. Yeah. I just paid it off. Yeah. It's ready for a service. Bloody typical. Yeah. And then it stopped. I'm like, oh, I'll just drive it off. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then ding, 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 ding. Then I start getting the bloody text. Yeah. Did you feel that? Yeah. I'm, I'm spewing because my ring security system, I, I let run out of batteries. Uh, and I could have bloody recorded it. But Could it, you it, just what at that time you have to go go or will it 
Is it I, always I think, recording? I think it would have sensed movement and then... Oh. But it does take little snapshots. Okay. Throughout the day, so... So you probably did catch it. Maybe. Oh, no. Yeah, well, the battery was flat, so I definitely, yeah, okay, definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely right. didn't. But, uh, okay. Yeah, so that was a weird one. We had uh, we had that uh, massive earthquake uh, felt from here, from Mount Buller to Frankston. And yeah. I saw the Mount Buller footage. And they're just filming. The yeah, show. and there was a strange flash in the sky. Now, I've, I've seen this before. On oh, earthquakes. Earthquake stuff and volcanoes and... Um, Lightning and whatnot. Yeah, just some, like a flash in the sky first, like somehow it's connected in some way. I don't, I don't know. Nature's weird. Nature is weird. Science is also very weird. Uh, how'd you, how'd your, but yeah, that flash is very common. How'd your pets go? Because usually animals can, can suss it out, but our doggos didn't even... I mean, they bark at the... Well, everything. Uh, yeah. Apparently, a lot of horse o's as well didn't didn't gallop off. Yeah, uh, they. You, you um, know, yeah, if you took a, if, if you took a vote between all the horses and said, uh, "Would you like um, earthquakes or not?" They'd all say nay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but earthquakes very rare. Yeah, very rare. Yep, yep. Lots but of- uh, I, I just thought it was weird because. It was felt everywhere. Mm. Uh, big bastard. Yeah. And usually, I don't know if it's our uh, stellar building codes mm. here in Australia, but it didn't seem to really fuck shit up. A magnitude it was similar, six. Yeah, which is just underneath there. the New Zealand one, yeah. which decimated. Yeah. But uh, they, they're they sitting right on the fault line, aren't we? Uh, wasn't that, was it? An was electrical it, fault? I, I don't know. But was the uh, was the one that happened here? Yeah. Have we got a fault line running under us well, through Paran. I was talking about the plates. Yeah, I, I don't know where Oz Oz sits on the on the plate on the big plates that's supposedly moving around. Oh, that's so unprofessional. It is, isn't it? That's Vanessa calling me. Oh, lunch for right? a uh, lunch sabbatical. Yeah, <laughs> is that, is that what like it is? That. But um, uh, the uh, yeah the fault lines. It's good. Open them up. Suck in oh. Chapel Street. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right through Betty's Burgers. You're Jeez, bit, Betty's Burgers are taking a hit, aren't they? You're a bit, um, bit bitter on the old uh, Chapel Street. Well, it is lemon season. It is. It is. <laughs> and uh, what what do we do when life gives us lemons, Tim? <laughs> we make that horrible tasting lemonade. <laughs> yes. Tons and tons of sugar. So yeah. It should be called Sugar Aid. Yeah, it should be. Mm. But um, yeah, the, uh, the, the yeah the fault lines are on um, on the New Zealand. I didn't realise there was one. There was veins going through mm. under us. I didn't know it. Oh, there's definitely veins, but it's more of a tunnel system. I would suggest. Mm. Well, it's almost like that, isn't it? Mm. They could. Oh man, they could do. They could do more. I wonder if it opens up caverns underneath mm. enough for us, like if we could tap into that for the new rail system or something like that. Like, could you use natural uh, caverns or do you got to stay right away from them? Well, I reckon what you do, man, is uh, when, when the sea levels rise, you open up a pocket and let the water just rush into that pocket, lowering, hence lowering the ocean. Okay. Make yeah, because I was, I, was, I was talking about... It, to battle the problem of the rising water yeah. in uh, global warming, desalination plants turn into fresh water. Mm. So anything that's on top is now fair game to desalinate mm. and give back to the peeps. I you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. So uh, we can take the top off if it's, if it's coming in land. And then everyone gets free it? salt all year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the salt you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know that artesian basin, you always hear about that, that massive, like, ocean under australia fresh water is yeah. it is it in a cave or is it in the dirt i don't know is there is it like they're saying it's a basin of water but it's not it's like so just the soil the, the oh, earth is just very like wet wet yeah but it's not like a hollow earth or a flat earth yeah it's or an underground gonna... river or no 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 it's just like sopping wet dirt mm, yeah and then what do you do you squidge it out <laughs> you pump it up and you Lots of uh, terry toweling. <laughs> yeah. You know, you pad. You get a big paddy, terry toweling, and then you go with the terry towel and <laughs> squidge it out. I reckon you got to use your uh, chuck super white for that. Yeah. It's way more oh, absorbent. Oh, it's a chuck job. Yeah, way yeah. more absorbent. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they get Chuck Norris as the spokesperson? Chuck, I don't know. Chuck wipes. That seems like... Because a... they talked about it and they went, do we really want to promote Chuck's wipes? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right in the Norris. Yes. <laughs> but it's Norris so, wipes? This, it's so rich. Chuck, Chuck swipes. Oh, karate. Yeah. Chuck wipes. Oh, he fucking has the chucks in his hand and, and he, karate chops across the bench. And swipes. Away swipes there. clean. There's something in that. Yeah, there definitely is. Yeah. But it, they should have done it 20 years ago. Mm, when Chuck Norris is relevant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he's not. <laughs> well, have we got a... We don't have a karate guy in Australia, do we? That's a bloody good point. Because you've got... Um, you've got uh, Chin Lee. Chun Lee. She's from China. You got... Oh, that's Bru- Street Fighter. Yeah. You've got uh, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Yeah, you've got Chuck Norris. You've got uh, Kareem al Dujabar. <laughs> he was one of the posse. But then the Aussie guy never comes into it. He doesn't, does he? Captain Boomerang. Oh, yeah. Well, no, now you're going into Avengers. Right. This is like the Marvel Universe. Oh, but, oh. I, but I, I, who's the... Who's the... Da, Dan, Dan the Man Longanides. The, kick, the kickboxing guy. Yeah, that's Was kickboxing. That? I yeah, want that's... straight tradition karate. karate. <laughs> <laughs> like Carter's... Yeah. yeah the, kind of oh, kar- the kind of karate where you don't actually hit each other, where it's like, no, you can't... Pu-. No, yeah, like not a gym, a dojo. Right. Yeah. You punch towards my head with the left and I... No, with the left. Yeah. Do it a bit higher. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a carter for that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, bring back the gay. Is that the uh, hashtag <laughs> for this episode? <laughs> hashtag bring back the gay. Uh, we need we need karate heroes right now. Yeah, we, do, so we need... <laughs> we definitely need a hero, but guess what? You're the hero. The hero lies within you. Oh, and also with you. You know? <laughs> yeah, okay. You've got that black belt inside of you. Mm. Even though you're white belt. Yep. Don't get into fights that you can't finish or start. Yeah, black or... black belts matter. Yes. Currently, I'm a white belt. Mm. <laughs> Middle-aged white belt. <laughs> 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 I need a blue-collar belt. Yeah, and then you go purple. And then I work my way up. Yeah. Work yeah. my way up to, up the ranks. Yeah. I've got karate. Yeah. Uh yeah, good shit. Yeah, it is good shit. But uh, look, we're, this today's a short and sweet one because you know we don't want to rinse all of our material in one fucking foul swipe no. or one karate swipe. I mean, I did have a dishwasher story, but that can wait for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah we'll, 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 we'll do that. Later. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, um, there's the music coming up now, and I would, I would just suggest uh, again or recommend going outside, getting some bloody fresh air, mm. have a picnic. Oh, are they were just allowed. Isn't it? They love picnics at the moment. Because they were told they were allowed to have them. So everybody's like, hey, you told us to have a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> no drinking. <laughs> okay, you can have one drink. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you said, ah. <laughs> Whatever I said, it's the opposite of that. All right. Um, back to jail. Yes. Back to your cell. Yep. Yep. You've, yep. Had, your, you've had your one hour of walk 45 around. minutes. Fucking hell. Thanks for thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, I'm Timmy Tarko. I'm Jez Bond. I'm Chuck Norris. They hop, they duck, they climb. They go through two at a time. Yo, jump in the turnstile. Jump the turnstile. Jump the, the turnstile. Leap over the turnstile. Hop over the turnstile. I had to take me. He's like a ninja. Jump in the turnstile. And it's no small thing. People have to jump the turnstile. I definitely didn't jump the turnstile. Jump in the turnstile. I definitely would do it once, twice. I would do it over again. Whenever I believe what happened to it, I do it. I get away because and there was no one there, so I figured it'd be just easier to jump the turnstile. Well, I've jumped some fairs in my day. I definitely jumped the turnstile a few times. Jump in. Turn Instead of just paying the $2.25 cent. I'm full of turns out back. Like that, boom, boom. My whole body's not moving. My leg. Jump the turnstile. Jump the turnstile. The turnstile. We are the antibacterial wipes. This don't even look sanitary.